title, The Dick Van Dyke Show, a timeless comedy classic welcome to the world of The Dick Van Dyke Show, a television series that charmed audiences during its original run from 1961 to 1966 and continues to delight viewers to this day. Created by the talented Carl Reiner, the show is a timeless comedy classic that has earned its place in television history. At the heart of its enduring popularity is the brilliant comedic genius of Dick Van Dyke himself. He portrayed the charismatic and lovable character of Rob Petrie, a comedy writer for the fictional Alan Brady show. With his impeccable comic timing, infectious energy, and undeniable charm, Van Dyke breathed life into the character, making him one of the most memorable figures in television history. The show's premise revolved around the day-to-day -day adventures and misadventures of Rob Petrie both at work and at home with his wife, Laura, portrayed brilliantly by the talented Mary Tyler Moore. Moore's portrayal of Laura, a charming and witty homemaker, perfectly complemented Van Dyke's charisma, and together they formed one of the most iconic TV couples of all time. The Dick Van Dyke Show was not only known for its exceptional lead cast, but also for its outstanding ensemble of supporting actors. Maury Amsterdam played Buddy Sorrell, a fellow comedy writer and Rob's best friend adding a dash of humor and camaraderie to the mix. Rose Marie portrayed Sally Rogers, the show's talented and sharp-tongued head writer, bringing her own unique spark to the series. The chemistry between these talented actors made the show an absolute joy to watch. The series struck a chord with viewers because of its witty writing, endearing characters, and relatable situations. Rob's misadventures at work and his endearing interactions with Laura and their young son, Richie, kept audiences glued to their screens week after week. It captured the essence of the American family, blending humor and heart in a way that resonated deeply with viewers of all ages. Now, dear viewers, do you have any fond memories of The Dick Van Dyke Show? Did you grow up watching the hilarious antics of Rob, Laura, Buddy, and Sally? Or did you discover this gem of a series in reruns and fall in love with its timeless charm? Feel free to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. In conclusion, The Dick Van Dyke Show stands as a testament to the power of exceptional writing, stellar performances, and the enduring appeal of a well-crafted sitcom. Its legacy lives on through its influence on future generations of comedians and television creators. So, if you haven't had the pleasure of watching this delightful show, it's never too late to start. Step back in time to 1961, where the iconic series The Dick Van Dyke Show captivated audiences with Rob and Laura Petrie. Fast forward to the 1990s, The X-Files referenced the classic show in an episode where Mulder and Scully assumed the names of Rob and Laura during a covert mission. This delightful Easter egg bridged two universes, connecting the 60 seconds comedy with a 90 seconds sci-fi drama. The crossover paid homage to television history, reminding us of the shared joy timeless shows bring. Mulder and Scully's chemistry as Rob and Laura honored the brilliance of the classic couple. Such moments weave a rich narrative tapestry in television history, leaving a lasting impact on our lives. The connection between the two shows immerses us in nostalgia and wonder, showcasing the enduring magic of television and storytelling. Hidden connections and homages enrich the TV experience, reminding us of the boundless creativity of the human mind. Step back to the early 1960s, where families gathered around black and white TVs for the beloved sitcom, The Dick Van Show. Behind the scenes, comedy genius Carl Reiner shaped the show's humor with authenticity. Drawing inspiration from real-life anecdotes, Reiner crafted relatable episodes that resonated with viewers. The affable head writer, Rob Petrie, stumbled into hilarious predicaments, reflecting everyday moments. The ensemble cast, including Mary Tyler Moore, Maury Amsterdam, Rosemary, and Richard Deacon, brought the episodes to life with impeccable timing and chemistry. The show's success came from the perfect blend of talent and genuine connection with the audience. Carl Reiner's ingenious approach made The Dick Van Show a cultural phenomenon, cherished by generations. It remains an enduring classic that celebrates the beauty of ordinary life. In the realm of TV history, few shows left a mark like The Dick Van Show. Premiering in 1961, it captivated viewers with humor, charm, and chemistry. Initially uncertain about Mary Tyler Moore as his on-screen wife, Dick Van's doubts vanished as their magical chemistry unfolded during production. 
The turning point was the episode Oh How We Met the Night That We Danced, showcasing their love story. Audiences were hooked, and the show soared. Dick Van and Mary Tyler Moore became the heart and soul of the series, making it a timeless treasure and an instant classic. Their on-screen romance felt real, inspiring audiences and future creators alike. Their journey from uncertainty to iconic status is a testament to talent and chemistry. Their partnership forever altered television history, leaving an everlasting impression. The legacy of the Dick Van Show celebrates their beautiful on-screen partnership, reminding us of the power of laughter and love in life's moments. Step back in time to the golden era of TV, where the Dick Van Show debuted in 1961. Initially focused on Rob at the office, Laura's entrance marked a captivating evolution. Mary Tyler Moore's portrayal of Laura won hearts, her chemistry with Dick Van Dyke stole the limelight. The shift to Laura reshaped the essence of the show, drawing audiences into a world of humor and love. Behind the scenes, camaraderie blossomed, but tensions emerged due to the focus shift, impacting off-screen relationships. Nevertheless, the show charmed audiences and critics alike, becoming a cultural touchstone. The Dick Van Show remains a shining example of classic television thanks to Mary Tyler Moore's brilliance. It's an enchanting journey into the past, a world of abundant laughter and enduring love. And with that, the transformation from an office-centered comedy to a heartwarming tale concludes. The show's legacy and unforgettable characters live on in fans' hearts worldwide. In the early 1960s, the Dick Van Dyke show emerged as a comedic gem, standing out with its unique approach to scripting. Led by Carl Reiner, the writers made a bold decision, avoiding 1960s slang to create a timeless charm. The show focused on universal themes, relying on wordplay and impeccable comedic timing. Remaining apolitical, it showcased relatable characters and their interactions, captivating audiences. The series transcended fleeting trends, leaving a lasting mark on popular culture. Today, it remains as fresh and entertaining, a testament to great writing and genuine humor. The Dick Van Dyke Show has earned its place in television classics, bringing joy and laughter to new generations. In the enchanting world of 1960s TV, The Dick Van Show emerged as a timeless classic, created by Carl Reiner and starring Dick Van Dyke as Rob Petrie, a witty comedy writer for the fictional Alan Brady Show. Alongside his vivacious wife Laura, the show depicted their comical adventures at work and home. Notably, the spirited head writer, Sally Rogers, played a pivotal role. In a memorable episode, Sally's phone number Plaza 3 minutes 1998 became a hilarious catalyst. Rob and Buddy Sorrel played pranks using her number, leading to uproarious chaos. Sally's witty retaliation impressed all. Plaza 3 minutes 1998 became a recurring punchline, showcasing the camaraderie among characters both on and off screen, endearing the show to global audiences. The Dick Van Show remains a beacon of humor and warmth, bridging generations. Sally Rogers and her unforgettable phone number continue to bring joy and laughter worldwide. This is the classic TV moment etched in history.